This is good. This is very good. Guillotines, guillotines. You need to do four damage. You could just tickle what's left of his scrotum and get ready. Press any key to play note. What? What's up, guys? Welcome back to Happy Roo. And for today's episode, we're gonna tackle some more challenges, but the main thing is I need to get fatalities. Okay, I think there's a total of 28 fatalities in the game, and we've seen maybe four, so there's still a whole lot of work left to do. Yeah, you see, that's the spirit. We need to do a thousand damage from flying axes, finish a round with a dummy on a block, cook a dummy with fire on the wall, and pierce a dummy with icicles on the wall. I would imagine that the fire and the ice are coming from the two dragons, so we could probably do both at once. The problem is, the dragons are a little aggressive. Right? They kind of make a bounce all over the place, so I'm not sure how we're gonna cook him or pierce him if he's just going haywire. What if we try something like this? What if we use the portal to get him up in the corner, and then we just kind of pin him in here? We don't want him going anywhere. We want him in our little saw cradle where the dragons can reach him at all times. Then we can even use gravity? Make sure that that keeps him pinned up against that wall. That way, the two dragons should be in range and they should be able to get their fill. Something like that? Probably not gonna work. It never works on the first try, right? Something always goes wrong. Why are you guys just kind of staring at him? I mean, they are doing their job, but not really. I'm confused. Fire Dragon's gone, he expelled everything, and it's only like a quarter of the way there. He's, he's hanging out there on the wall, everything went according to play, and the, the dragons dropped the ball. Maybe the game doesn't care all that much about him being pinned up against the wall. And what if we just have him bounce around a whole lot? He's gonna get pierced on icicles quite a bit, I would imagine, right? But it's just cooking a dummy with fire on the wall that I'm not really convinced with. Okay, icicles are down. So we got the ice dragon taken care of. Fire dragon, however, is being a bit of a tit. Might get there. Probably not though, so close. So how can we get him up against a wall long enough to cook? I think I have it figured out. It's not that they want me to cook the dummy while he's stuck on a wall, like get the full brunt force of the dragon, but that extra little bit of fire he leaves on the walls, the dummy needs to fly around through that. So hopefully, gravity changers should do the work. Right, you see that the wall's on fire and he should just be kind of flying up and down through it. He's not, but oh, oh, there we go, there we go. Okay, come on gravity changers, just push him back up. Keep cooking him, we're getting somewhere. Lots of little dummy parts. No, the dragon runs out. Dragon runs out too quickly, but his fire stays behind. Okay, that was a tricky one. These gravity changers are so useful. I need to use them more often because they're infinite and they're so great at directing them where you need them to go. We now have to detonate 90 bombs while a dummy is on a wheel. And once again, I'm not being all that precise because I don't know how to count to 90, but you just kind of aim for excessive and then you're never disappointed. The one thing I'm not sure about is what this does. It just kind of flicks on a little light. I understand change direction, but I don't know about that. Sure, why not? <gasps> What's the worst that could happen? Okay. I know that I said we should go for excessive, but that might have been just a little bit too excessive. Good to know that these things have overdrive, but right now we need to take it nice and slow, very deliberate, and hopefully not lose any limbs along the way, right? We need to get to 90. There we go. We're almost killing him every time, too. We haven't seen the fatality for the wheel or for the bombs. So what if we take a quick timeout, find another way of doing more damage? I'm gonna do that thing that I keep telling myself not to do in trusting the Teslas. Not because they're bad, if anything, it's because they're too good. They do too much damage. I don't want electricality. I want bombality or wheelality. <laughs> I would imagine, but I don't know if it's gonna be enough damage, which is surprising considering how little we have left. I swear I've tried like a dozen different iterations of this wheel design and nothing is working. We do a whole lot of damage, but we're always just barely shy, like 2,000 shy again, and we're left with this pile of useless. I think we just need more money. I just can't get it done. 
Finally, we have ourselves an easy one in throw a dummy into a guillotine with a wheel in turbo mode. I'm guessing that's turbo mode. Now we know. So you should fall onto the wheel and just get turboed into a guillotine. Simple enough. Use up 24 jumpers in a row? Ooh, that's gonna be a tricky one. He says as the guillotines continue to work over time. Okay, we're done here. We're, 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 no, you don't need to do this anymore. That'll be all 24, thank you. These stupid jumper challenges are way more difficult than they sound because you would assume that all you have to do is put 24 jumpers in a room, let him go, and he's gonna hit all of them eventually. But you make dead spots when you use them up. So you might only hit half of them and then he'll just sit on the floor for eternity. So you have to screw with gravity quite a bit. This way, he should be in perpetual motion. There's no way for him to ever stop. <laughs> and then we just have to kind of wait. Yeah, it's gonna be a while. About five minutes and a whole lot of wall, floor, and ceiling jam later, mission accomplished. Move a dummy from one wheel to another between four different wheels. Now, I have no idea how this is gonna work, but what I'm thinking is if we put it into overdrive, they should just kind of toss onto each other. We'll see, that wasn't intended. Okay, well, there you go. <laughs> he was supposed to go down through the portal, but they just decided to catch between each other. I appreciate that. Now, here's a challenge that I can actually appreciate. Okay, kill a dummy with the Tesla. We've done it before. They love to steal kills from others when I'm trying to accomplish things. Maybe they can finally get one for themselves. Come on, Teslas, you're the only thing out there, right? It's either you or the bumper or the wall, maybe? I'm not sure if there's wallality in this. We might find out at some point. Probably not right now because <laughs> all we have is the little torso. There we go, okay. <laughs> we have our strange Magical bug zapper once again, and electricality. That's what I like to see. Next up, kill a dummy with an ax. Ooh, I like these fatality challenges. Give me more money for accomplishing things that I like doing. I also need to do a thousand damage from flying axes. Whatever the hell that means. So I've added a lot of gravity, kept some of the Teslas just to bounce them around and get some damage in, but hopefully the axes can get the final hit. I don't have a lot of faith in them getting the final hit. They don't do that much damage, but they take up so much Space. Was that change gravity something something? Okay, well I did another one. I didn't even see that one. <laughs> it's good. We're, we're off to a decent start. Yeah, the axes do fly around, but how, oh yeah, we did like what? 50 damage from them? Oh, okay, a little bit more. Maybe we'll get there. Not really sure. <laughs> it just seems so lucky. Like, it, it's just completely luck based. There's no way to strategize this because the axes are so crap, but we might get the kill. Maybe, come on, come on, why don't we speed this up a little bit? You know what, why don't you just bounce around just a little bit more? <laughs> oh, where is he? It's hard to tell, there's so many little bits floating around, arms and legs and what's considered to be him and he's, he's done. Crap. Now they want me to kill a dummy with a guillotine and it's the same problem. I, I just, I don't know how this is supposed to work. I know how guillotines work, okay? They're not supposed to be on the walls and on the ceiling. <laughs> What I mean is they take up so much space and they're so expensive, but they do such little damage that I can't just fill a room with them and have him die because he never dies. It's just impossible. They only do like 800 to 1,000 damage per hit. Each of them has three hits. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's nine times 3,000. I guess technically if he hits every single one every time and they all crit, then maybe? but it doesn't seem to be working all that well. We kind of have the same problem with the guillotine in that it's so expensive and it takes up so much space but does such little damage that I can't just fill a room with them and expect him to die. I need to have some kind of crazy contraption and then let the guillotine deliver the final blow, which hopefully I've done here. Maybe we're gonna stick him on the wheel. We're gonna do a whole crap load of damage with some reliable weapons. And then hopefully when he falls off the wheel, he should go through the portal and end up over here with the guillotines, which can't finish the job because they're crap. <laughs> like the plan is flawless. They're just so crap. I got rid of a guillotine and I added some gravity changers in the hopes that we can kind of keep him pinned over there. 
for now. You just get destroyed over here. Okay, take your licks. There we go. We can get you up to like 12, 13,000 damage and then you're gonna keep going. No, no, don't, don't, don't. Go. Not back over there. <laughs> Not what I wanted. Let him go, wheel. Let him go in the port, thank you. Now back over there. Oh my God, this is such a ridiculous level. <laughs> we done 14,000 damage. I swear to God, if you can't finish him off, he's just a torso. How hard is it to kill a stump of a human bee? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. It's gotten to the point where I, I just, I have to put my faith in the wheel. Th that's all there is to it. I need to make it so that the wheel drops him into the portal without the need of a saw conveyor belt. And then the money that I save on saws, I can put into damage and hopefully that'll be enough. We're gonna find out. I need him to get lots of surface area coverage on that wheel. He needs to really hug it so that when he comes around, things don't come flying off. Oh, oh, okay. That was perfect. It's not gonna get any better than that, kind of. There's still just a little drop of damage left in those two weapons back there, but come on. No guillotine. Oh, thank you. Thank you, appreciate you. Oh my God. Oh my God, you have to be kidding me. It's so close. I don't understand. Why does this game hate me? Like I come up with these amazing designs, like straight out of the Renaissance, and then I just get crapped on. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. Now, okay, he's gonna go over there. That's not really what I was looking for. He's supposed to get dropped through the portal, but that's fine. Now, you take your guillotine damage like a good little boy. Why do we have so much less damage this time? But we used all of the weapons and I added a bomb. So it should be more. This doesn't make sense. I get the feeling there is a stupid amount of random luck with this game because you can't quite repeat things even if you don't change anything. It won't be quite the same. Now fall through. There we, no, no, where are you going? Where, that's it, come back to me. This is good, this is very good. Guillotines, guillotines, you need to do four damage. You could just tickle what's left of his scrotum and get ready, press any key to play note. What? Uh, okay, 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 okay. No, this is fine, this is fine. I'm some kind of guitar playing Dorito skeleton. I don't wanna screw up. I wanna make good decisions in life. How is this going? Am I doing good? Is the crowd into it? I can't look, I can't blink. This is terrifying. No, 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 not gonna screw up. Not gonna screw up. Not going to lose this. Yes. What the hell was that? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh, okay. <laughs> That is by far the coolest fatality in this game yet. We need more stuff like this, even if it's impossible to get. Don't touch anything, okay? All we're gonna do is remove these and replace them with axes, and it should lead to the same result, right? We should be able to finish them off with an ax. Don't screw with me. I'm thinking that we might want some jump pads underneath just in case. Just a little something like this to get him back up through the axes. We have a little bit more money. Okay, you know what? We can play it nice and safe. We can put a couple more gravity changers here just to make sure that he doesn't go where we don't want him to go. And then we also have a little bit more money. Okay, what if we uh, put a couple of bombs up here just to get the extra licks in? There we go. Now, the amount of damage coming from the left side of the room shouldn't change, right? Everything should still be according to plan. The perfect killing machine is still in motion and now he's over there. All right, this is fine. Even though we're short like 1500 damage from where we were last time, why? That doesn't make any sense. Oh my God. I got a better idea. What if we put these bombs on the wall? That way he won't get stuck there randomly. Sound good? Now, can we please get more damage from the left? I don't know why it's different, but it should be around 15,000 by the time all is said and done over here. Sometimes it's only 13 or 14, and that's not gonna cut it. I don't appreciate that. Oh, 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 oh. That is gonna have to stop right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put another gravity changer right there. And once again, I've changed nothing on the left side of the room. So it should be 15,000 damage, but it's not sometimes. What if I add to it? I have um, enough money for a crossbow. Would a crossbow help? I'm gonna put a crossbow there, see if that helps. It shouldn't change anything. It shouldn't harm, it should only help. 
It's more damage, right? Go, go, go. You see? That's a lot of damage. That's way more damage. That's 15,000. That time it was 15,000. That time it was much better. What are you doing? He really loves to just screw with me. You know that? <laughs> just can't let me have nice things. He can't let me be happy. <laughs> okay, yeah, go over there. See if I care. You're at 15,000, which means in reality, the axe only needs to do 1,000 damage. Which it did eventually, very fortunately. <laughs> what a random ending. Is that a bunch of Vikings I hear in the background? I know some people are probably gonna claim that I'm milking this room and they'd be right because it's actually working. <laughs> so now we're gonna try the same thing, except for this time we're gonna go for hay. What the hell just happened? Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> just kind of bounced around randomly there. We didn't quite do what we wanted to do, but he's in the hay. Just keep rolling around in there, bud. You can do it. Come on. There you go. Okay, great. No, no, no. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> just keep sending him back to where he's supposed to be. <laughs> Stupid gravity is only supposed to go up and down. It's not supposed to launch him to the other side of the room. It's so freaking close. Come on. Come on, hay. Do something. Oh, baby. Reality. Oh. <gasps> What the hell is that? Why is it breathing fire? I still don't understand the hay. It's needles in a haystack. It still doesn't really explain the fire breathing face, but sure. I really like this idea. I think this is gonna work out well. We're gonna use two different wheels. The one on the left is where he's gonna take the most of the damage as always. Then he's gonna go over to the one on the right where the crossbows should finish him off because we need to kill a dummy with a crossbow or with a sheep. Should have probably bought some sheep too. You gotta go to a different store. You can't get sheep and crossbows at the same place. But we kept the streak up, so hopefully they can get there. Come on guys. Oh, you, oh, I thought they were gonna get there for a second. <laughs> okay. Okay. I was gonna say that wasn't all that interesting, but yeah, they really brought it around in the end. It's gonna be kind of difficult to make the sheep finish him off because they have a huge range. They're inclined to just head over to the other side of the map, but I don't want them over there. You guys hang out over here in your little flock, okay? Just wait for wheel two. Stick to the plan. Stupid little stuffed missiles. Okay, going well. Oh, 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 okay. Uh, things have gone haywire. Where is he? We, lo we lost him. Go sheep, go. There we go. <laughs> Didn't quite make it to the wheel, but they improvised. Oh, why does he always have to do a little animation in the corner? I want to see them in the middle. Maybe I should try to move them over a little bit. It, it ruins the whole plan of my room. It's just a real disappointment. We've seen sheepality before anyway. I think this will be the last one for the episode. We're going to kill a dummy with an ice dragon. Again, we've seen dragonality before, but I really can't resist. <laughs> and this is just so perfectly optimized, it's working flawlessly. So I really can't resist. <laughs> yeah, all right. This is probably my best room, my favorite room, both. You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Happy Room, guys. And I'm still amazed that these episodes are doing so well. People really enjoy this game, and I'm really surprised, but I'm happy because I enjoy recording it. And today we got through quite a few challenges, we got a lot of fatalities, but like I said, there's a lot more to see. I think there's 20 something in the game and I'm less than halfway there. So as always, if you guys wanna see more, be sure to leave a like on the video, let me know, I'll return for more soon. And thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.